Hi. I'm Ram Nawatiya, the last uh, author of this paper. The first author, unfortunately, could not come because of visa issues. Going to talk about tall temporal activity localization via language query. Uh, there are many action localization methods uh, in the literature. They're typically restricted to predefined categories. If you want to add a new a action category, we need to retrain the system. We need to provide training data. We propose to localize actions specified by natural language queries, so new queries uh, can be added without any training data. Uh, an example is shown there. A person runs to the window, then looks out. There's about a five-second clip where this action takes place in the larger video, and our goal is to find that clip. Uh, system has four components. Uh, first is the visual encoder. It takes uh, sliding window clips, computes features for them, uses the preceding and succeeding clips as context, and creates a feature vector. Uh, the sentence encoder takes a sentence. We have two different methods of encoding it into a feature vector. The visual and sentence uh, features are added in three ways, element-wise addition, element-wise multiplication, simple concatenation. Goes to a uh, fully connected layer, uh, finally comes out a combined feature vector, and then we learn how to score it for alignment as well as regress the interval uh, so, so, so that the interval is more correct than uh, the clip itself. The first two components, visual sentence encoders, are trained independently. Alignment regression networks are trained to uh, minimize the combined loss. We don't have much training data. We have only about 100 videos from which we create training data. Uh, top shows the example I mentioned earlier. Person runs to the window, then looks out. Uh, you can see the ground truth interval, the al alignment without regression, alignment after regression is yes, very close to the ground truth. The second example shows the person sets up two separate glasses on the counter. We don't have time to show you videos in the spotlight, uh, but you can at least get idea of the complexity of the data sentences as well as the video. Uh, so quantitative evaluation on the TACOS data set. Um, for metric, we use uh, recall at different ranks. I show you results at rank one and rank five. You can also vary the IOU with the ground truth. Uh, here we only show IOU of 0.5. In poster, we show uh, more results. Uh, there's results with regression, without regression. Regression seems to help a lot. Uh, there's no real baseline for us to compare with, as we believe this is a new task. Uh, we create some of our own baselines that you can come and see at the poster. Thank you for your attention.